Over the course of time, a lot of things get lost. We've all been there. We've lost something important and um, either never found it again or rejoiced to find it again. The same thing is true of books. Books don't have uncomplicated lives. They progress from being in vogue and really popular and everyone's reading them to being no one's reading them anymore and we can't often give the reasons why that's the case. What's interesting for us, living when we do, looking back over the great Western tradition and the great conversation that is that Western tradition, is that we are living at a time when so much of the things that are important are available to us, so much so that we actually can't keep up with it all. We can't read it all. And so we have to make choices. The need to construct a syllabus that our students can keep up with is real. And there's not room for everything that's important on the syllabus, and there's not room to read anything on the syllabus as well as it deserves. But there's a special class of texts that every learned person up through the early part of the 20th century knew that we don't read anymore. And I'm going to refer to these as the forgotten epics. These are the texts that if we were to take someone like a C.S. Lewis and bring them to our time and set him in front of our most learned scholars today, he would be shocked that they hadn't read these texts, that they weren't reading them from a young age, they weren't discussing them, that they weren't common currency in intellectual circles. Now, it's not to do anything with these texts that this has happened. It's just a matter of historical circumstance, curricular needs, things of that sort. But too much that's really, really good has been lost. So what I propose to do is to go back and reclaim some of those things. Over the course of the year from January to August, we are going to go back to some of the most important and influential epic poems in history that nobody reads anymore. And we're going to read them together. And we're going to talk about them. And we're going to find a place, um, at least among a few of us, and possibly also among some of our syllabi, for these forgotten epics to be returned to uh, our culture. And in so doing, we'll be reconnecting with older conversations and we will be able to um, take our place in that conversation more responsibly as we go forward.